Hello YouTube, this is ROM1. I build myself a little rocket stove, but decided that uh, I was going to heat instead this little place, which is my greenhouse right now, is full of junk. But I will insulate it and uh, try my rocket stove in there. I did use my little uh, first one that I built there out of cement, but this one. Once I found another tank to put on top, and why the riser tube is uh, not too long, I'm waiting for the uh, for to see the height of my tank so that I'm, I'll add another piece to it, and I'll insulate the riser tube too. But being a small place, I didn't want to. I didn't want to put too much in front of it for burning so instead what I did is put two bolts on each side and made these accessories to it I already tried it once and fire burns very good and this part here thanks to Jeff I built myself a pellet burner and it hooks right on here. Now I'm going to build myself a good hopper for my pellets, but for now, this is what I use. As soon as those pellets start burning, I do get the rocket effect. Naturally, as soon as uh, I do get a little bit of smoke, naturally when I first started, but you gotta remember that. Uh, not everything is insulated properly. I did fill it with perlite up to here and cap it with, uh, with some rack refractory cement. Uh, thank Kevin Bacon for that one. And I just added that piece of four inch pipe there on top just for the rough now, but. Okay, go on. There's not much smoke coming out of it. For now, anyway. But once that.
that movie got spoiled. Looks pretty good there. Let's can see inside the flames. I did use a 3 inch uh, black iron pipe and a 1 inch black iron pipe for my burner, my pellet burner. I don't know how long it's going to last, but it is working pretty good with for now. much, but it's far from the look temperature. I'm sure why once it's installed in my uh, my greenhouse, I'll insulate it. That it will go smokeless a lot faster. But hmm, in five minutes, I think. Oh, I don't have so much smoke coming out now. Side, naturally. And I'm gonna go see. And it draws like crazy. It does the same thing with wood. With this part, when I install it. But I like this here. That means that I'll be able to uh, make myself a bigger hopper for my pellets. And heat overnight. Put a bag of pellets in it, big enough for a bag of pellets, and just let it uh, let it burn slowly, slowly all, all night. doing is I'm going to be removing some some material here all the way around and I install a gasket there a stove gasket gasket because I don't like being able to see the flame and I'll build myself a little door here with some kind of a draft regulator so that I'm able to adjust the draft. Right now, this, this thing doesn't give much chance for the pellets. The pellet gets stuck in the neck here. So I'm going to rebuild something out of uh, steel. And on this one, I'm going to build myself a door on top. I hope you don't uh, don't mind too much the welds. I mean, I've not been welding a lot in the past years, and just got myself a new uh, new little MIG. Just still trying to learn how to to use it properly. But mm, not all my welds are that bad. Some are pretty good. Well, any comment or idea? So this could also work. Adding stuff like that. Maybe I could uh, add a 12 inch here and put a water coil in it. Well, that's an idea. 
Well, if somebody's, somebody's got ideas, I'm willing to listen, and I'll try them. Thanks for watching.